Good morning, Facebook Live. What is up? I'm inviting Katrina Brink on here, and I am so excited because, boom, we're going to have dinner for breakfast. How about that? How about them apples? We're not going to have apples, though. We're going to have uh, dinner, 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 dinner. So I'm so excited. Katrina Brink is with the Empowered Kitchen, and I'm wondering how many of you guys feel kind of uh, empowered in the kitchen. If you feel empowered in the kitchen, give me a little heart. And if you feel uh, disempowered, like, you like, like you'd like, love to know a little bit more about uh, how to make a new recipe maybe, uh, uh, give me a little comment, say new recipe. And that's what you're gonna learn today is, what is a good recipe for dinner? And she's gonna make, make it in a way where we can ch chat about whether it's uh, vegan or not. So she's gonna add a fried egg at the end. That's the surprise. <laughs> So here she comes on, and I want to share with y'all, right before, good morning, good morning. Looks like our our, our, our our cups match. Look at that. Got a match. I like that. Good morning, Katrina. How are you? Will you please, oh, Celia, so I just asked everybody, I said, do you feel empowered in the kitchen, or would you like some new recipes? And I said, do you, if you feel empowered, give me a heart. If you have want a new recipe, I said, two new recipes. And Celia, she's amazing. She's with Fit Body. She said new recipes for sure. So what do you think, Katrina? I think new we can recipes? do that today. Sure. Ah, will you introduce yourself, please? I told everybody you're with an Empowered Kitchen. Good morning, Celia. You're with the Empowered Kitchen, but will you share a little bit more about your vision? Yes, definitely. Um, so my vision is to get people back into the kitchen, to just enjoy cooking again, take the stress out of it, make it really fun um, so they can connect with their loved ones and make something nourishing for themselves. Um, just enjoy enjoy cooking again and uh, know how to take enjoy. like whole ingredients and make something healthy that also tastes really good. Healthy, tastes good, enjoy cooking, spending time with family. There's one more big, yeah. big, let's, let's go to the global now. Cause I always <laughs> think global cause every, we need all that stuff. Cause I need to remember people, right? We got to, it's all about the people, but it, we also have to want to make this like kind of global impact. What can you share what your, uh, what your interest is in there? Yes, here. definitely. Thank you for reminding me. So my I, my passion that got me into all of this, um, or made me come up with the idea for the business, was to teach people how to reduce their food waste as well. So I can show you how food to waste. use a lot of your ingredients so you don't waste any of them throughout the week, and we um, save money, and we also can help um, protect the planet by not having as much food waste. Yeah, I mean, we protect the planet. We we save the soil. Yeah, Celia says, love it. Need to cook at home more, eat out. Yeah, so that's what we're here. Uh, Katrina's so good at showing super simple recipes that, boom, you can whip up really quick. That's what I, I think that I, what I've loved. So you've made it, you've made it feel very, you make cooking feel very accessible. Oh, good. I'm so glad that comes across because that's definitely, that's exactly what I want to do. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to say, too, because my background, you know, I used to be a, a professor at Ohio State University of Environmental Policy. And one thing people care a lot about is landfills. Like people don't want garbage in their backyard. They want to take the garbage, put it on the curb and then send it really far away somewhere in somebody else's backyard. Yeah. Okay? So <laughs> what's going to happen over time is that we get these properties that, they, you know, the, the landfills get filled up and they got to have a new landfill. We got to put trash somewhere else. Yeah. So instead of that landfill going into your backyard, friends, let's just waste less food, right? Like, yeah. let's put less into the landfill in the first place. Yeah. And you won't have to worry about where the next landfill is going to be built. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what people always ask me if I focus on showing people how to compost. And composting is great. But first, I want to show you how to prevent the food waste in the first place so you don't even have as much of the compost. I mean, there's always going to be some. Because we don't eat like um, banana peels and <laughs> we don't eat onion peels and some stuff like that. But like even with onion peels, there's creative ways you can use them to make stock and um, some stuff like that. Mm. So you can use them at least before you do throw them away, get rid of them. So, yeah. I love it. So give us the ingredients. I love it. I'm gonna. You've inspired me because I definitely. You know, I used to be married and and uh, with a family. My husband had two children from a previous marriage, so I was. Married with two kids and three dogs, friends over all the time, you know, used to having a lot of food. And then when I became single, and now it's like me and a seven-pound chihuahua, right? Like, it took me a couple years, really, 
to figure out how to transition from cooking, buying food for a family and friends, a lot of people, to just me and my little chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. So I was wasting a lot of, I'll just share it. Like I was wasting a lot of food and I would feel guilty and ashamed about it. So, um, you know, I've gotten better and better and better over time. But what you, what you're bringing forward is like, it's, it's making it even easier to understand how not to waste so much. Oh, great. Yeah. This is something you could throw together and, um, have enough, like prep enough so that you can make two breakfasts or like, this is a good breakfast. I'll eat it for breakfast today or a great dinner. It's, um, when you have it for dinner, you just feel really vital at the, like, you don't feel like you're weighed down by a big heavy meal. It, you just kind mm. of like, yeah, I feel like I can go get some things done now because it's, it feels great. I love it. Yeah. Celia says, I hate to throw away food. I feed leftovers to animals and birds and I live on the water. So what's appropriate. I throw in the water. I love it. I, my chihuahua always licks my bowl. He like doesn't come and beg until he hears that like ding, ding, or the plate, you know, the ding, ding, when you're ending your meal, he always, you can hear him go, tch, 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 and he waits and he gets to lick the, he gets to lick the plate, or the bowl. <laughs> so what are you, what is, uh, what, what you got going on here, girl? Let's yeah, get so what we have here today, I have roasted some sweet potatoes. So I have these sweet potatoes already um, peeled. I just peeled them. I roasted them with the peel on. It's super easy at 400 degrees with a little olive oil um, for probably 45 minutes just until they're soft. Um, you can see 25? 25, 25 or 45? 45. And I had a couple other things roasting in there at the same time. So it used all that heat of the oven really efficiently. And so 400 at 425 or no, 400 for 45 minutes for sweet potato. Yeah, about that. It kind of depends on your oven. Just uh, play around with it. Check it at 30 minutes and kind of see how they are and see what how much more time they need until they're soft. So, like stick them with a knife or something and they're real soft. Um, I also have some minced garlic I've put together. Uh, wild rice is already cooked. You can do any kind of rice with this. Like uh, I prefer whole grain. It just gives you some extra fiber and good nutrition. So this is a whole grain wild rice. Um, and we will, um, this is turmeric. So this is a turmeric root here. Um, Yum. And if you haven't seen that. Uh, really common in Indian food and um, very good for you. Put it close it's, to the camera. We put it close to the camera so they can see that like there's one piece. It kind of looks like ginger. Um, yeah, here. It looks like ginger a little bit. Um, cool. So what we'll do is, um, I, I think I peeled ginger on camera one time, so kind of similar like that. I just take a spoon and I'm going to peel this. Um, it will squirt at you like it just did me. And it's orange on the inside, so it will, uh, it can stain. It will stain. So just like. It'll stain, friends. <laughs> be so be ready. careful with your turmeric. Turmeric will stain. So Celia says, so sweet. Yes, feed the planet. Oh, turmeric is so good for you. Yeah, yeah. I know turmeric has some, uh. Uh, anti-inflammatory properties. So if anybody has, you know, heart issue, blood pressure issues, um, surgeries, anything where there's an inflammation, you've been eating too much sugar, friends, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. get some turmeric in your food, some turmeric in your in your diet, in your milk, yeah. in your morning teas, you know, something like make this beautiful yeah. breakfast with the Katrina here. And uh, yeah. I want to see that orange, girl, because that's hot tamale <laughs> orange. I love that. So this will stain. Oops. What? Oh, it's over. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, so cool. Um, so it's going to turn my fingers a little bit orange, but it comes off after a little while. Um, so oh, fingers. Turmeric. turmeric hands. What they're finding <laughs> is that um, I'm not going to make a claim that like this is absolutely true yet, but they're they're researching it. People are researching it, finding out that there are possibly some links between preventing Alzheimer's and turmeric. So I think regardless, it's a nice thing to in incorporate in your diet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get some. I'm going to put it on the list, girl. Turmeric. Good stuff. Um, and it gives a really nice flavor. I can't really describe it except for it just tastes like turmeric. <laughs> People have asked what it tastes like, and I'm like, eh, I can't really, I don't know what to compare it to. But it's really, it's good. Yeah, people ask, have asked me too, and I don't know either. And I kind of the only word that I can come up with is like, it's it's. Do you consider it savory? I mean, you probably know these kind of language better yeah. than I do. But I, oh, sh Celia says should include it daily if you can. I love this. You know what? I just realized I have a whole beautiful. Um, uh, I I bought some yummy good turmeric for turmeric milk, and I didn't make it yet. 
Um, so I'm just going to start putting it into my smoothies and stuff, I think. They're finding more and more benefits for it, Celia said. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, really good stuff. Um, so I have oh. my pan. Yes? No, I'll let you. I'll read that comment in a minute. I want to, because we'll talk. Well, since we're talking about turmeric, Angela said this, so this is good to know. Because, yeah, we, you know, we never know. Everybody should look into stuff right before they take it. Just so you know, if someone has a gallstone, be careful about the amounts of um, curcumin and, and turmeric. Uh, it may trigger a gallstone attack. So, hey, friends, you got gallstones? Watch your turmeric. Watch your turmeric intake. <laughs> careful. Yeah, that's right. yeah, that's I good to know. Say, like, definitely, it's always, yeah, talk to your doctor or nutritionist about kind of foods and things. But in a general sense, it's something that's healthy for you. So um, this, what I have is my, I have a skillet that's heated up with some coconut oil in it. Um, you could use olive oil or rapeseed oil. It's fine. Um, I And I have my minced garlic. I'll go ahead and put that in there. I have the skillet on like a uh, medium low because um, I don't want my gar garlic to burn. If you have it on too high, your garlic will burn fast and get bitter. So I'm just going to let that kind of Get aromatic. It's already smelling good. Um, uh, maybe 20 I can seconds. Imagine being in your kitchen. <laughs> so we've got garlic, and did you put the turmeric in there yet? Um, not yet. I'm gonna put the. Yet, okay. Let's see. Let that kind of get nice and. Wow, that smells really good. Um, I will go ahead and throw the turmeric in real fast. Just for a minute. Okay, so the oil and then the garlic and then the turmeric. Yeah, and you want your oil hot for when you put the garlic in there. So the oil, so the garlic doesn't just sit in the oil. You want it to start cooking when it when it touches the pan, but not like oh. not too hot. Not too hot. Um, okay, so, so hot hot oil, hot oil, then garlic, then turmeric. Yep. And now we have our sweet potato. I'm just gonna kind of break it up a little bit, stick it in there. So it's kind of mushy sweet potato? It's going to get mashed up, yeah. It'll get mashed with the garlic and turmeric. It would be like a puree kind of thing, mash. You could also serve it whole, I guess. Um, it's really yeah, if anybody out there sounds like this sounds good, if you have, it's she's mashed, she's got oil, garlic, turmeric, and sweet potato she's mashing up together. If this sounds good, please give me a heart, because that sounds fantastic <laughs> right now. I wish I was in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Make it enough for two. You can come over. Yeah. Um, okay. so Let me rinse my fingers one sec. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so now I'll just kind of mash this up. Let me get a masher. Woo! Hey, girl. Good to see you. I can't see who it is. I saw a face and then it disappeared too quickly. <laughs> yeah, so is there any way to see this? Yeah, I'll show you. Sorry, things in the way. Okay. I just, I'm so, so excited about just, it. You could mash it before with you. That looks good. Um, would have been a little more efficient to mash it before you put it in here, but <laughs> it's all right. Um, so just kind of. Mash that all together, let it cook a little bit. And now what I'll do is I'm going to add uh, two cups of, I have a, I like a veggie broth here. You could use chicken broth or whatever kind of broth. Two but, um, cups, okay. This is so a you veggie. got your mashed sweet potato with turmeric and garlic and oil, and then you add uh, two cups of broth? Yep, and I did about one sweet potato's worth here. Um, actually, I might start with just one cup of broth. I'm gonna see what that does. Okay, one cup of broth. And I put bouillon in here, so it was a little funky looking, but it's just, it'll warm up in the pan. Yeah. So you did veggie bouillon. Mm-hmm, yep. And yeah. So we'll just let that cook a little bit. I have it on close to medium with that kind of simmer away. Yeah, one cup for one sweet potato is enough. I think um, usually I do two sweet potatoes and that's why I would set two cups, but we'll just do do one cup. That'll be plenty. And um, I'm actually going to put that on medium high now to let that kind of simmer and cook down a little because you um, want to get rid of some of this liquid now. Just gives it flavor. All right. So, we'll so you've got oil and garlic and turmeric and mashed sweet potato and, and broth now in there. Yum. And those are 
rice cooked. That's our wild rice. Um, yes. Oh so, my God. And then the other thing is, so I have a um, bowl of kale that I've broken up here. Um, I washed it and then tore it into little pieces without the stem, so there's no stem. And no stem kale. <laughs> um, so what I'll do now is we're going to massage our kale. I think we did that in another class too. And so I'll massage the kale, friends. Get your kale massage on. Get your kale. Start with your practice on yourself first. <laughs> That's right. First, and then get it your massage on your kale. <laughs> yeah, what this does is it breaks down the cellulose and just makes it more palatable, um, tastes better. All I mean, that yeah, more palatable, but um, it just makes softer. it better all around. <laughs> okay, so it, it's kind of softer, right? So it's like easier to uh, <laughs> easier yeah. to chew. Exactly. Yeah, see, yeah. it says massage kale, and she laughed. Yeah, it is funny. It's like get you. Oh, the massage. Oh, that kale feels so good. So good. <laughs> Massage your kale, friends. Massage your yeah. kale. Make it palatable. <laughs> so now we have our. I love it. Nicely massaged. Oh, it's Natasha. Kale is relaxed. Um. Oh, your kale's nice and relaxed. You, you have like Zen kale. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what you can do? Um. Mm, so this is boiling away. My hands are all oily. So here, I can show you. Kind of All right, that's the sweet potato uh, yumminess. A little high. I'm gonna lower it now, just a little bit, but so it doesn't splatter on me. Um, but yeah, that'll be good. It'll cook down a little bit. So what you can do? Um, usually I have a honey lemon vinaigrette that I put on here, and um, okay. I can put a link to that um, recipe, or I can do. I'll put it in the comments. The recipe is really simple. Uh, like shallot honey. Olive oil, lemon juice, um, salt, pepper. I believe that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything. But um, I wasn't going to demonstrate that here today. What you can also do if you don't have time to make a whole vinaigrette, just put a little lemon, a little bit of salt, a little more olive oil, pepper, and you're good. You don't have time to do that. Cool. Celia says, it looks awesome. I'm coming over for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You're going to have some women knocking on, you're going to have some probably men and women both knocking on your door here pretty soon, girlfriend. You're in Denver. Um, so I'll just I love that lemon squeezer. I love that lemon squeezer. Yeah, it's handy. Um, so that's a little lemon juice. And um, just kind of toss that down. All right. Mm. So we got sweet potato yumminess. We got rice. Now we got kale. Yum. So put a little salt. So I'm wondering, like, if everybody out there, do you guys eat breakfast or do you wait till later in the day to eat? I'm one of these people who I don't eat a I don't eat a ton in the morning. Actually, I I tend to wait till it's usually after 10 a.m. till I really want much in my body. Maybe I'll have an apple in the morning. Where some people like to wake up and they like to have a full breakfast. Like I know I have you know friends who they get up and they make themselves eggs and bacon and oatmeal and like a full breakfast. And I even have one friend who makes two breakfasts for herself. She wakes <laughs> one early and then one around like 10 a.m. Okay. Uh, so she actually eats like four times a day. Whereas <laughs> I'm the kind of person I'd rather wait and eat like this a bigger meal after 10 a.m. Just the way my body works, the way my body likes it. So I'm wondering, do you guys eat breakfast early or do you eat breakfast late? Do you eat the first meal of the day? So give me an early or a late in the day. And then I'm just curious. I'm curious yeah. what everybody does because we're all a little bit different. Oh, Celia says, I am a huge breakfast eater, either eggs or my crazy super smoothie. Oh, my gosh. That sounds amazing. Do you do I yeah. love breakfast, too. I feel like I can't really get started or, I don't know, feel a little sluggish if I don't have food. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. That's what other people say, too, whereas if I have food, I uh, I don't feel sharp in my mind. Mm. Yeah. In the morning. In the morning, till a certain point, until I'm, until, yeah, until quite a few hours in. And then I like to eat and stuff, something light. Yeah, I don't like, it's interesting. I'm not real... I'm not real big on, I used to be when I was younger, but now it's, it's shifted. Mm. Or I've got, yeah, the less I'm just interested in food in the morning. My body's just not quite ready for it. It's interesting. Um, I like these super smoothie sound though. Mm -hmm, so let's definitely. see what you got. Did you just put some salt in there? Yeah, I just put a little salt in there. So um, you can always adjust the taste to your liking, whatever. 
you like in there. Oh, um, a dollop of like maple syrup, if you wanted a little sweet, would be nice. Um, I also have a little bit of cream here. I'm just gonna put a little cream. You could put uh, coconut milk, just a little dollop of coconut milk if you have that, or you have a little leftover from a recipe you didn't use. Nice way to use yeah. it. Okay, so make it a little creamy. Yeah, Celia says, me too. I teach two to three hours of morning kids exercise classes. Oh, that'll get you. <laughs> that'll get you going in the morning. Uh, most days, so I need that energy. Totally yeah. makes sense. Get yourself, fi you know, whereas I'm often, um, I do in the mornings a lot of computer work or I'll do yoga, and I think that's part of why I don't want food yet. Mm -hmm. Might be. Yeah. Yeah. And this, um, uh, yeah, you can even do three hours of exercise. You got to eat some beforehand for sure. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to mention that the cream is optional. Like you don't have to do that, but I think it gives it a nice texture and taste, creaminess. Yeah. Makes it a little richer, right? Get that yeah. cream in and make it a little richer. So yeah. Now we have our. Oops. Wow, that was hot. Oh, it was by my pan. That's why. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so there's some kale in here uh, with the lemon juice and olive oil. And I'll put a little bit of our sweet potato on the side. And, Yum. Um, this looks amazing. We'll get some rice in there in a minute. I'm going to wait um, on the rice. Let me get a little pan for eggs. Um, let's see. We could... Yeah, you could put that sweet potato in something else and then cook, just put more olive oil in the pan and cook the eggs in there. But I'm not going to do that right now. I love this. So for those of you know, I'm um, a vegan, so that's why Katrina brought forward. She put a little cream in the sweet potatoes, and she said, well, you could put coconut milk instead. You know, canned coconut milk would be so good. And, and then even as she's putting a fried egg on, as, you know, if anybody wanted to add some, um, you know, uh, you could add tofu, you could add uh, some sort of lentils, you could add, you know, there's all sorts of other options in terms of protein. But I think even without anything extra, even with just the sweet potato, the kale, and the rice, you have a really beautifully full meal. Yeah, for sure. And I, I have a few nuts here, too. You could sprinkle pecans would be tasty on this, or walnuts, like toasted nuts on here. Um, I have a few... Yeah pistachios, I'd like a whole bunch of those, so I thought I'd use them on top of this. Or avocado. Avocado would be good. Always a good option. Tasty. Yeah. Um, so I have our pan. I put a little olive oil in our pan. Put it on kind of medium, or uh, medium low, a little closer to medium to get it heated up. And we'll do it. All right, cool. Egg. So you're doing a fried egg. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I like to fried put a fried egg. egg then you can just put it on top. You could do poached if you like poached. Um, I don't know if scrambled would be quite as good on this, but do whatever you want. <laughs> whatever kind of egg you like, friends, or whatever kind of thing you like. I would probably do, I, would, I might even make an avocado kind of warm, like a warm, soft mm -hmm. avocado. Yeah. I want something warm on top, yeah. Wouldn't that be yummy? Yum! Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I, as you're making the egg and getting ready, I'll just share with everybody. She's uh, Katrina here. She has a business called uh, The Empowered Kitchen, and we met, and she came to my uh, Awakening Leaders Retreat last year, and I was just sharing with her earlier that I'm going to be hosting the Awakening Leaders Retreat again this year, the weekend of 11-11, which is a weekend where you can, you know, really um, dive into yourself November 11th um, and, and choose to create your vision for for 2019 and and I think that you know all of these kinds of activities we do around visioning around connecting with others um, like we're doing even here it really helps us all move forward faster if we're all sitting at home alone trying to figure it out it's, it's kind of hard so I love that you know you're you're able to bring healthy food to my world and to all my friends mm -hmm. and family um, because you know it matters it matters what we put in our body because we our, our physical form is is food basically so I really appreciate you. Yeah, Cecilia said, I love avocados, the empowered kitchen. Boom, the empowered Thanks kitchen. <laughs> appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, I, um, I, can, I teach people either in their homes here in the Denver metro area or um, through online video coaching. Sorry, my dog's about to bark. He hears the dog outside. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, hey, it's all right, buddy. It's okay, Oscar. <laughs> You'll hear him whimpering, sorry. Um, That's okay. And, 
<laughs> so I can offer those classes. If you want to go to empoweredkitchen.com, you can see a little bit about what I do and contact me and I'll get back in touch with you with more details about classes. And um, yeah, so I can do like pregnancy cooking, healthy cooking for pregnancy or before you're pregnant, that kind of thing for the guy and the girl to both be healthy and all kinds yeah. of things. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Beautiful. And Celia said, we are what we eat. Girl, preach it, sister. We are what we eat. Yeah. Health is so based on what you're putting in your body. Yeah. Let's, I often say to somebody, I'm like, here's the deal. You want to be a cheeseburger or you want to be a piece of broccoli? Choose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's so great that you do that. Yeah, I mean, I really, be, as an entrepreneur, as somebody, you know, I have a global vision, girlfriend. You know this. I'm always talking about helping the world. I got to help the world complex. So um, I got to come at, I got to come at every single day my best. I got to bring it from, when, 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 uh, you know, when I, when I work with a client, for example, I'm a business coach, right? I help people build their businesses to six figures. And if you have six figures, I'll help you build a seven. So when I'm working with somebody, if I'm like eating ice cream all night long and uh, a breakfast burrito for McDonald's and uh, a cheeseburger for lunch, let's just be honest, like I'm not going to be the best for my clients. I'm not going to be, be the best for my friends, for my family. So sorry. It's totally normal. This is Facebook Live, girl. Normal. Uh, so I really I honor like – I honor my body, but I also honor all, all of you guys, honestly. Every, every single person that's listening to this video right now, including uh, Katrina here and, and her puppy dog, uh, <laughs> I feel the better I take care of myself. And I want to ask you guys, like, do you feel the same way? Like, the better you take care of you, the better you can show up for other people? Give me some hearts. Like, this is huge. This is huge. And, I, I mean, Katrina – was there a time that you didn't eat as healthy and then you started eating healthy and you felt like you had a better impact in your life? Um, I think sometimes I've gone through a few little waves where I kind of wasn't cooking for myself as much. And um, I can feel it. Yeah, I've always been eating pretty healthy. Um, but, yeah, I have noticed it a little bit. For sure. Yeah, it affects life. Like, because usually if life's going not so great, we're eating crappy food. We're eating crappy food, then life's not going so great. So what if food is your gateway, right? Because like you brought over in the beginning of this video, is that it's about spending time with your friends and family. It's about slowing down and connecting with what nourishes you, right? And what if food was like your gateway to making everything in your life better? <laughs> it's been a huge shift for me. I used to drink a lot of beer, eat chicken wings, and I thought I ate really healthy, but relative to what I do now, like not at all. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. the way that the food that I put into my body, it makes me feel good. I, I, I have a friend who brought me watermelon juice recently. I felt amazing all day from this watermelon juice. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. And, People can really think they eat healthy like healthy and once they start realizing kind of what they're putting in their body and how much better they can feel if they eat something kind of like this that's super nourishing you just feel so much better so much better and celia says i agree every organ needs water and good food every organ of the body so true girl so yeah. true how can you show others energy if you're dragging which is what happens if you eat badly it's totally it's like if you eat if we eat bad we're dragging if we're dragging we're bringing not our best self forward so we either don't bring it forward or we bring it forward half seas and nobody wants to be around somebody who's showing up half seas, right? We want people to show up full in life. We want to show up full in life. We want to be fully expressed. And if we're not, if we're not eating the kind of food that's making us feel good, we're not fully expressing ourselves the way we want to. And then we've got this like thing going on in our head. We're not happy. So Katrina, you are bringing us food for happiness. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> good. <laughs> Um, awesome. So, this is my love language, friends. In case anybody <laughs> didn't know, part of the reason why I'm on here with Katrina, I'm like, girl, she's gonna teach me some stuff. Food is my love language. I'm gonna learn. <laughs> I love. The, I love the fact that she's also all about, you know, food waste and reducing it because that that touches my heart. It really does. It means a lot to me too. So, appreciate the love that you're sharing, girl. Let's see this. Let's see this fried <laughs> egg. All right. Here's our our breakfast. Or well, it could be breakfast, but a beautiful dinner. That'll make you just feel good for the rest of the evening. And so you're not sluggish. Just really get whatever you need to get done. 
um, feel healthy. It was so we had rice, sweet potato, kale, egg, garlic, turmeric, mm -hmm. and some oil, and then like some seasoning. So that was like seven ingredients, including like garlic and this, including the seasoning and oil. So it's basically one, yeah. two, three, four ingredients. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So appetizing. Oh, so. <laughs> Thank you. You can also do that. Um, honey lemon vinaigrette is delicious on this, and then you can kind of get mixed in with everything. Um, so I didn't have that today. But oh, here I might sprinkle a couple nuts on top. If you like chili powder or some kind of other seasoning, spice blend. I mean, you make it your own. You can put whatever you like on there. So. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give vegans or anybody out there actually who wants to try something new, um, coconut aminos. So it's like, you might have heard of a, a Bragg's Aminos, or what? Or not Bragg's, but a, what's it called? I forget, but Aminos? You know yeah, Bragg's makes some, I believe, yeah. Think so. Is it Bragg's? Okay. Well, there's one called Coconut Aminos that's mm -hmm. so good, so good. It's like kind of like soy sauce, but not as strong, salty. It's kind of sweet because it's coconut aminos. It's subtle. It's not as strong. It's like, I mean, I can just put it on rice sometimes and eat it because it's so mm -hmm. yummy. For sure, but yeah. Another that's awesome. Definitely. All right, Katrina. Yeah, Celia says, thank you. What a, what a meal any time of the day. Yeah, friends. So if you're out there, you want, you know, you need some ideas about what do I eat? This is a great, you know, reach out to Katrina. If you need some support in terms of feeling better, like the whole body approach, the whole business approach, reach out to me. Let's chat. Because let's just be honest. You want to be healthy. Everybody wants to be healthy. <laughs> Everybody wants to eat good food, right? Yeah, this it's is just a matter of it feels hard. It feels really hard. And what you're doing, Katrina, is you're making it simple for us. And so I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Hope yeah, will you, put your links, will you put your links below in case anybody wants to uh, reach out? Yes, definitely. Thanks. All right. Thanks, babe. And everybody out there, thanks for being here with for, uh, Celia. I see your comments. I'm excited. Thanks to you both. Have a fun day. You have a fun day, girl. I hope those little kids are just you're dancing around. Josh says thanks. Now send it over to me. Josh lives in Salt Lake City, Utah, Katrina. Can you just, uh, we're in Denver, so can you just like flop this over the mountain, real, over the Rocky Mountains real quick on the other side? Sure. <laughs> City. Be I cool. love you, Josh. Oh my God. I love you, Katrina. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. We'll chat soon, okay? Sounds good. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Namaste. Bye.